Gregory Horton here, three-time Olympic medalist and world champion in track and field. Thank you all for coming over to this channel. If you like the content, please press the thumbs up button right away. If you find the content informative, please be generous and share. Today we're going to talk about Brianna Williams, who is the Jamaican under 18 and under 20 youth world champion and record holder for the 200 meters. She was also Jamaica's under 18 and under 20 record holder in the 100 meter in an impressive time of 1097. The first time I saw Brianna run, I immediately tried to recruit her when I was the head coach at American Heritage because I thought that this was a champion in the making. The thing I admire most about Brianna at that early age was that she was very focused. She was committed and you could see the level of discipline in the way she warmed up and the way she executed her race. You could tell from the onset that she was truly a champion in the making. Another thing that I liked about Brianna is that she was not only fast, but she had the support of her mother every step of the way. You see, sometimes when an athlete is to be great, they must have that parental support. Someone who is dear to sheer good insight, to encourage, to motivate. And you could tell that Brianna had that in her mother. When she made the decision to train with Otto Bolden, I felt that was a great decision because Otto knew how to develop athletes who were young and wanted to be great. So under Otto tutelage, Brianna became the youngest athlete to win the 100 meters and the 200 meters double at the 2018 World Under 20 Championship at the age of 16. Brianna holds the girls 100 meters record at the age of 15 in a time of 11.13 seconds. So when it comes to talent, Brianna is one of those athletes can go all the way if she stays committed and focused to improving her craft. But for whatever reason, Brianna made the decision to leave Otto Bolden so she could relocate to Jamaica and continue her young and inexperienced career. Some people believe that it was out of frustration she wanted to win, but she found it difficult to be victorious when she had to compete against people such as the Shelley and Fraser Price, the Sharika Jackson, and the Elaine Thompson era. But when you look at Brianna, you could tell that she was still maturing. She was still young. And if she had waited her time, it was a matter of time for her to be that world champion. In life, you do not lose out on things because you remain patient. Patience shows how strong you are. So a lot of people believe that it was not in Brianna's best interest to move to Jamaica because training in Jamaica require a higher level of discipline, dedication, and focus. Why? One of the things they find that when athletes relocate to Jamaica, if they don't have a high level of focus, discipline, and dedication, that distraction will set in the way. Jamaica is a place where you can party all night, you can play all night, you can drink all night, and if you are not properly guided, you might fall into the trap of being overzealous, and as a result, you may lose interest in what is most important. Now, a few weeks ago, Brianna opened her season with a 200 meters at the National Stadium. She finished third, struggling to run under 24 seconds. And this is something that she could do very easy on any given day. The word on the street is that Brianna has lost her focus, her level of discipline, and her self-direction. It is said that she's not putting in the quality of work, the level of work that she was accustomed to doing. She was not able to focus at that high level because of the distractions that eventually creeped up in her life. My concern is that we are now in the late middle of the season and experience has taught me that if one does not get it together quickly at this phase in the season, that your season will come to a quick end. Now she competes in a few days 
and many are waiting to see what the outcome is going to be because this will be a good indication of where she is in terms of her fitness her dedication her focus and her commitment to continue her quest to be great now many of us are still waiting anxiously to see how brianna will perform in a few days i wish her all the best i am dr gregory horton thank you very much for listening have a blessed day